Welcome to how to build a bot in five minutes using Core.ai's Bot Builder. Today we will show you how to build a bot and cover many of the key features of the builder itself. Let's begin by building a simple weather bot. While this bot is just a sample, the process we walk through to build it is the same that an enterprise would use to develop both customer facing and employee facing chatbots. You'll notice the first step is to create a new bot followed by selecting the type of bot. A standard bot that serves enterprise employees or customers is the most common. Examples of a standard bot include an employee-facing ITSM bot for self-service that's rolled out to all employees via Active Directory Sync, or a customer-facing banking bot that users can text requests to transfer money or check their balance. Soon, our bot builder will include a universal bot option. This allows developers to create a master bot that can access tasks from all standard bots it's connected to. Universal bots allow an organization to address the discoverability of chatbots and to avoid bot sprawl, similar to what occurred with mobile app proliferation. You'll notice the option to also add a sample bot. This helps developers new to our platform learn how chatbots work and enables them to speed up the development process. Let's go ahead and create a standard bot. The first step is to give your bot a name. In this case, let's call our bot 5-Minute Weather Bot. We will leave the audience to public. However, an enterprise creating a new IT help desk bot would want to select the enterprise user setting. And just like that, the shell of our bot is created, and we can start adding tasks. There are five tasks available to developers in the builder. Chatbots can provide alerts, take action, pull information, and reports and execute workflows. We're now going to add a new dialogue task. First, we must create an intent to start our dialogue. This is what the bot will use to identify the task it's supposed to execute. For example, in our weather bot, get current temperature. Now we'll move into the dialogue builder itself. The core.ai dialogue builder is a visual interface that lets you shape a complex dialogue into a conversation flow using features like request chaining, intent and sub-intent recognition, multiple node types, component reusability, and pause and resume. Once your initial node is set up, you can then click the plus sign to add a node as the next step in the dialogue. Some example next steps include send a message, ask a question, ask for an entity, and make a service call. In this case, we want to ask for an entity so the bot can effectively execute the get current temperature task. In order to ask for an entity, we first need to add the entity itself. In this case, it would be location. So we'll select create new entity, add location as the entity name, and a prompt message for the bot to ask the user, which location would you like the temperature for? You'll notice a new entity node was added. The next step is to add the service call to pull the data from the weather service. We'll add make a service call, and since we don't have any already configured, we'll add a new service call. First, we name the service call. In this case, get weather service, which then calls the Yahoo REST web service. Here, we'll keep all the settings default, but you can see the builder gives enterprises options when setting up their service calls. Once we hit create, we now have a third node in our dialog for the service call. From here, we're going to take a look at the settings for the service call in the component properties tab. Here we will define the API request. We'll start by adding the request URL. For our example, we're using a simple open API with no authentication required, but notice detailed settings are available for the developer to set up and test as they build their dialog. Now that the service has been called, we'll want to construct the right message to send to the user, so we'll add another node and select send a message. You'll see we don't have any bot responses created, so we'll need to add one. One point here, bot responses, authentication profiles, and nodes themselves can be reused in new dialogues in the future, saving the developer time as they build out more tasks and additional bots. In our new message, we'll enter the bot's response. We name the response so it can potentially be used later in other dialogues. Then we'll set up the response itself, which is, it is currently, followed by the results of the service call. Then we've created our bot with one task and we're ready to test. 
You can access the bot at any point inside of the bot builder by clicking the chat icon at the bottom right of your screen. I'll ask the bot to get current temperature. You'll see the bot responds as we've designed it to. Then, after I provide my location, I'll get a response. One benefit of using the Core.ai platform is that our dual approach to NLP using fundamental meaning, synonyms, and patterns pre-programmed into the platform itself enable your first bot to actually understand more than it potentially would should you be using machine learning alone. For example, what if I asked the bot, what's the temperature? We didn't program that into our dialog, but given the NLP engine sitting behind the Core.ai platform, your first bot will actually already recognize the intent as a match to the task, get current temperature. If something is not already pre-programmed, for example, temp isn't recognized to mean temperature, you simply add it as a synonym to your bot and retest. To add synonyms, you move into the Natural Language tab and select Synonyms. From here, you'll insert the keyword you want a synonym added for, in this case, temperature. Next, you add any words you'd like the bot to recognize as a synonym for the keyword. I'll insert temp and save. You'll see I get a message that the synonym was added successfully, so I'll go back to test my bot. I'll go ahead and ask my bot, what's the temp? And you'll notice it now recognizes the intent and matched it to the task, get current temperature. It's important to note that the Core.ai platform supports machine learning based NLP. Let's train our bot using ML to match a unique statement to the task, get current temperature. We'll move into the machine learning area of the bot builder, and you'll notice our one task shows up under dialog intents. We can then enter a statement like, is it too hot for jeans today? And select train. Now we'll move back to the home screen and open our bot once more to test the new utterance. After I ask the bot, is it too hot for jeans today? You'll notice our bot responds by initiating the get current temperature task. Now that we have a functioning bot, we'll want to deploy the bot in various channels for use. The Core.ai bot builder makes the process simple with pre-built bot connectors to channels like email, Twilio, Facebook Messenger, Cisco Spark, Workplace by Facebook, and many others. Let's enable the email channel by simply choosing email and selecting yes under enable channel. We'll then copy the email address for the bot and test. We can craft an email to the bot with the subject weather and ask the bot what's the temperature. Once I send, you'll notice we get a response from the bot asking for which location we'd like the temperature. And there you have it. We've built, configured, trained, tested, and deployed a bot all in roughly five minutes. The Core.ai Bot Builder makes it easy for developers through every step of the chatbot building process by first including help with the bot builder itself in the form of guided tutorials, sample bots, and page or field level tips. And second, by including links to our rich developer site with detailed documentation on each step of the building process. You can visit developer.core.ai for more detail. Thanks for watching How to Build a Bot in 5 Minutes using Core.ai's Bot Builder.